Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at Sony's new Tablet S. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the Tablet S and give you a little bit of a hardware walkthrough. Now, there are a number of tablets out there these days, and a growing number of them are Android tablets. Sony's here with their very own take on this, and as you'd expect, it has some Sony touches like entertainment and e-reading and some of the other things that they already do in the consumer marketplace. Now, the first thing you're going to notice about the Tablet S when you're holding it is the wedge-shaped design. You'd think that this would make it a little bit odd to put it in your hand and hold it for any length of time, but it's actually quite comfortable. Of course, as with any other tablet, it's designed to work in both portrait and landscape mode, and the weighting is fine in actually either direction. It does feel okay in the hand whether you're holding it in landscape or in portrait. It has a 9.4 inch screen with a 1280 by 800 resolution, that is HD compatible. There are cameras on the front and the back of the unit. Now because of the wedge shape, the sides are a little bit odd and they do have a little bit of a recess. Along the one edge, you do have the power button and the volume buttons. This area also has a reset hole, so if you ever run into any real trouble, you can just stick a pin in there and away you go. And the side also has one of the speakers. On the other side, we have the headphone jack and the other speaker. There's also a door hiding a USB port, as you can see by the USB symbol here. But there's also a secure digital card under there as well. Along that side, you'll also see a couple of holes where you can attach a hand strap. So if you want to have a little bit of extra security while you're holding it and don't want it to fall out of your hands, you can attach that as well. Along the thickest edge of the Tablet S, you don't actually see much, but there is an infrared sensor and transmitter in there, so you can actually use it with remote control. We'll talk more about that later. There's not much along the thin edge, except for a proprietary connector for attaching your power. And along the back of the Tablet S, besides the camera, which we've already mentioned, it doesn't have much else except for a little bit of information from Sony. The Tablet S comes in a 16GB version and a 32GB version. The pricing for those different versions will depend on where you are in the world and when you're seeing this, of course. We'll talk more about other features of the Tablet S, how to set it up, and what else you can do with it in upcoming episodes in the series. You can see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.